Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the fact that tomorrow, we have several big candle closes. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So what am I talking about when I'm talking about candle closes tomorrow? Well, it's certainly not the daily time frame because we get those every single day. We also know that it's not the weekly time frame because, well, we are a little over five days away from a new weekly candle. However, we have a lot of other closes coming up tomorrow. Okay, what are those closes? Well, one of them is the monthly close, okay? And this one might be interesting to watch because if the price of Bitcoin can get above $37,280, then the monthly candle will flip green. Now, to some degree, you might ask yourself, does it really matter if it's green or red? Maybe not, maybe not in the grand scheme of things, it might not make a huge difference, but when we look back at various market cycles, the, the stories that will be told will be highly dependent, I think, on you know the number of greens you see, the number of reds, sort of these momentum shifts in the market. So right now, the, the monthly candle is red. And note that May was also red. So we had May coming out red, or sorry, April was red, May was red, and then now June will be red if in fact it closes below around 37,280. But again, it's going to be dependent on what exchange you use. Okay, so it's going to vary slightly depending on, on, on what exchange you're actually looking at. However, the monthly close is not the only close that we're getting. Okay, there's actually a lot of them. If you follow, say, two-month candles, everyone's pulling up two-month candles, right? You have a pretty big red one. Okay, this one is going to stay red. The only way that this one doesn't stay red is, it, is if Bitcoin pumps to a very modest an overly humble $57,791 in the next 24 hours or so. So if you see the price of Bitcoin going up to around uh, $58,000, then note that the two-month candle can in fact flip back to green. That's likely not going to happen, but it does show you that, you know, as we said back over here in March, April, and May, how far ahead of schedule we were in the cycle and that a healthy pullback is likely coming. And my general thinking is that the market is not going to do anything that impressive for, you know, for, for several more months. Now, does that mean we can go to 40K? Of course. You know, when I first started talking about, about the market being relatively boring at the very least for the entirety of the summer, it, it was at higher prices than it is now. And then now some people use a $36,000 Bitcoin as proof that I'm wrong. Um, but it's funny. Like I don't mind being wrong. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But it, it's funny when when uh, when you when you make the claim that it's going to be a relatively you know boring summer filled with months of accumulation uh, at lower prices than we were just a few months ago, and then people use a price a few weeks later that was lower than where you set it as proof that you're wrong. It goes to show you how relative crypto is uh, every single week. I mean. You know, when you look at these, when you look at these last six or seven weeks, we just continue to plan the sandbox. Okay, I mean, we're just we're not doing much of anything. I mean, whether we're at 30k, 35k, or 40k, even 45k, you could contend is still somewhat playing in the sandbox, considering it's still well below the bull market support band, at least the upper part of it, which in fact is the 20-week estimate, which is coming in hot right now at 48,138 dollars. So. Note that we will continue to play in our little sandbox over here for a while longer. Of course, the last few days have been somewhat bullish. You can see that here. We've been generally moving up over the last few days, which is why you know people are excited again, and, and you see you see people. Everyone's kind of coming out of their out of their crypto caves that they've sort of hunkered down in for a while. There's just some other candles that might be worth noting. I mean, we looked at the one month, we looked at the two month. Well, because we're coming to the end of a quarter, we also have the close of a three month candle. Okay, and it's important to note that in April, so the the candle starting in April, July, and and um, October and January, we had three, four greens in a row. We had four green three month candles in a row. 
this would be the first one that is red since we had our January through March candle in 2020. So you can see there at least has been some shift in the momentum as we have significantly cooled off over the last few months. And you can see that reflected in the quarterly candle, which is the three month candle. Now, beyond that, we even have another candle that we can look at. Um, I'm gonna switch this over really quick to, to this one so we can see a little bit more history here. You know, when you look at these three month candles, you see mostly green. And this makes sense. I mean, Bitcoin generally trends up with time, but you do get a few reds sprinkled in. I mean, you know, if you go back over here, we had three greens in a row followed by two reds. Here we had a lot of greens in a row. We had a red, a green, and then a few more reds. And then we sort of just slowly trended back up. Now, remember, last cycle was a lot more methodical. We would go up, we would come back down, test the bull mark support band and keep going up. And somewhat, some of that's reflected in the fact that some of these three month candles are slightly red, but only very slightly. Um, you know, this three month candle was only negative 3%. This one was only negative 9%. The one we're currently in now was negative 38%. So you can see how different this cycle is from the one we had over here. Now we can go one more here and we can in fact look at half year candles or six month candles. When you look at six month candles, what do you notice? You notice, well, if you look at six month candles, we're still green. In fact, we are still green. And as long as we close above $28,976, which it seems very likely that we will in the next 24 hours, or, or I think it's actually 28 hours, you can see one day, four hours from the time of this video, we will in fact have three six month green candles in a row. Last cycle, we had one, two, three, four, five green candles in a row that were in fact six months. If we were able to put in two more green candles in a row that are six months long, then it would put us all the way out till the summer of 2022. So basically a year from now is, is where that would put us if we don't get any red candles between now and then. You might look at this and say, well, I mean, this was three straight down followed by five up. So we had three six month candles in a row that were, went down and then five in a row that went up. Then we had two down, one up, and then one down and now back to three. So it's obviously a completely different structure than we had last market cycle. Maybe it looks more similar to the one we've had uh, before, but even now it's it's way too early to talk about that because I mean, we still need to, we still need to see what, what's in store for Bitcoin over the next six months because we are coming up to the end of the first half of the year. So where do you think the next six month candle will put Bitcoin? Will it be at a lower price than it is today? Will it be at a higher price than it is today? If it's a higher price than it is today, then we'll in fact, or I should say tomorrow, then it'll in fact print a fourth six month candle in a row. Regardless, we have a lot of pretty important closes coming up that will go onto the Bitcoin charts. They will be, you know, printed for history to, to talk about. I'm sure we'll talk about them in the future when we look at the entirety of Bitcoin market cycles and look at one month, two month, three month, and six month candles. But just so you are aware, they are all coming up to a close on those candles in about 28 hours from the time of this video. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Make sure you subscribe. Let's go for half a million subscribers. Also check out the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. And we also do sell some t-shirts and coffee mugs over at store.intothecryptoverse.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you turn on your alerts and I will see you next time. Bye.